be looking at one of the works of Roy Lichtenstein. We're here in the Gagosian Galleries in Chelsea. I'm Michael Gorgio, along with Manish Bohr of Artlog.com. Manish, I have to say this is a special thrill for me. Growing up, Roy Lichtenstein was my favorite artist, and I have several of his prints, so to be here today is a huge thrill. It's incredible. Roy Lichtenstein is obviously one of the most famous pop artists of the 20th century, born and raised in New York City, and we're here in a special treat. It's a massive show of his works in the 1970s and 1980s. Okay, we're going to talk more about Roy Lichtenstein in a second, but first, let's talk about where we are, the Gagosian Galleries. This, I'm going to guess this was a garage or something at some point. Now it's really one of the major galleries in what has become the Gallery Alley of Manhattan here in Chelsea. Absolutely. Larry Gagosian, now one of the most powerful and famous gallery owners and gallery figures in the world, owns three galleries in New York City. This is the largest gallery mm -hmm. in the city. It's uh, a massive space. As you can see, it feels less like a gallery and more like a museum. Yeah, it really does. In fact, you can see that there are security guards all over the place. This is when people walk in here, they're actually feeling like this is a major museum in New York. And the works in this exhibition are not all for sale. He's actually brought in works from major museums, private collections. The average public would never be able to see many of these works. They're inside some of the ma most major collectors' homes. So we have a special treat here to be able to see these works and it's always free. You can always walk into the Gugosian Gallery and you'll never pay a dime. Okay, and let's talk about Roy Lichtenstein because, as I said, the artist that I grew up loving the most and liking the most, and this is a particular aspect of his work. A lot of people are familiar with almost stills from comics and that sort of thing, but these are his still lives. You can see that the, uh, the pop art influences are still here. But these still life works are actually from the 70s and 80s. And the works that most of the general public sees, the works that you see on posters all over the college right. campuses and all over the world, are works that are those pop culture works from the 1960s. But as you can see, there are clear signs that you walk into the gallery and you know these are Roy's works. Right. In addition to the paintings, we have sketches for what would become the paintings, and in some cases, sculptures as well. Like here, there was a sketch on the other wall that was the sketch for this sculpture right here. Yeah, it's very, it's very interesting to be able to see that where the drawings in these small scales have come from and what they produce on these kind of massive wall pieces and even the sculptures. Right now we're looking at figures, something as simple as grapes right. or cheese or a necklace, and putting it in this context, it not only, as you say, it has this feeling of kind of evoking the 60s and 70s, but they're everyday objects. I mean, these three panels here, and I'm guessing they go together, and I love this because it's really, is not just pop, but it really speaks to me of the 60s and 70s. It's like a, it's like a time stamp. Yeah, and, and, and this is the, kind of the beauty of the work, is that it really can take you into different places. For you, you're, you're kind of remembering Tell imagery me, of, of, of the 60s and 70s. <laughs> For me, I'm seeing something that's modern, that I can, I, that I can relate to today. And even though his, his signature is known for being the 60s and 70s, right. to me, I look at this show and I feel like this represents today and, and this kind of new and this, this new creation. Okay. And so the great part, once again, is you can come here for free, see works that maybe you wouldn't be able to see even if you paid big money in any museum around the world, and it's all here on the West Side. Absolutely, and, and you can check out in all three locations of Gagosian and, again, the Gagosian shop on Madison Avenue where they're selling more affordable uh, figures of major artists like Roy, like Jeff Koons, uh, maybe not affordable in the sense of 50 or $100, <laughs> but not the 100000 the million-dollar pieces that we may be seeing on these walls. Okay, Manish, just mere pocket change for a master.